what's crack everyone jobber here and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna be opening up a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs. So, we have some classics like Spellers, Pharaoh Servant, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, Metal Raiders, and The Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. And an entire box just absolutely stuffed full of random Yu-Gi-Oh! sets. I, ha I bought a bunch of these from Target. I had some. I've added into it. So this is going to be an absolutely epic Yu-Gi-Oh! booster pack opening and obviously look for your username in the comment section down below i'll have it pinned to the top to see if you are the lucky winner from our last video and in today's video we're going to be doing another giveaway and that's going to have the red eyes black dragon the dark magician and the blue eyes white dragon all you have to do is be a subscriber so hit that subscribe hit that bell right next to it comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card that you see in today's video Give this video a like, follow me on Instagram, say hi, and I will always say hi back. All right, so and I'm gonna be announcing the winner to this vi uh, of this giveaway in the comment section of our next video, which will be tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing a little run here of videos all the way leading up to Christmas. I'm gonna try to keep this going, and it's gonna be absolutely epic. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and hopefully our lucky Jerry Beans man over there will give us some incredible luck in today's video. So without any further ado, Let's get cracking, everybody. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we have so many booster packs to open up. Jerry Beans, man, giving us some luck in the background. And it's time to pop open some booster packs. So we have a Rise of Destiny first edition booster pack as our first pack we're going to pop open in this giant opening extravaganza, I guess you want to call it, because there is a lot going on here. And hopefully we get some incredible pulls. I have some sleeves here put to the side just in case we get some incredible hollows. Ooh, the Harpy Girl. That is a really, really beautiful looking card. I love it. That is weird. Oh, nice. So we end up getting a foil in our first booster pack. Right on. It is gorgeous looking. Look at all the colors in that card. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. Right on. First booster pack. First foil. This is a good way to start this thing out because we have a lot of booster packs we open up in the in this opening, my goodness, so many different ones. And there's a lot of different sets, and it's just gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this thing. I have been looking forward to this thing. Alrighty, so now what do we have here? The Maximum Crisis. This is a little bit more of a newer Yu-Gi-Oh set, which is kind of fun, mixing it up. Got some new, got some old, got some really old. <laughs> and uh, and then we, I think there's some uh, Gold Series packs in there as well. Set rotation around this to uh, in my Antimeta deck. And then we have a, another foiler here. We'll put that up there anyway. Even though these ones right here, you are guaranteed a hollow, which is actually pretty cool. Especially if you've been frustrated opening up booster packs from the old sets and not pulling any. So we have a Toon Chaos booster pack. This one. Let's see if we can pull one of those elusive collectors rare. So we have a Witch of the Black Forest. This set's pretty cool because you have all these like different rares. So everyone's saying, rares are gone, rares are gone. And they drop this set and it has all the rares in it. So we got a number 75 as our super rare right here. That's actually pretty cool. And then we have a Chaos Zone Sangan. So we got Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan in here. Both, uh, both creatures that get sent to the grave, you can add a monster from your deck to your hand. One with 1,500 uh, attack or less, or one with 1,500 defense or less, from which the Black Forces effect. So both of them are really, really cool and big-time staples back in the day. We have Flames of Destruction. So we're going to, uh, at the very end of this video, we're going to open up all these, like, classic booster packs right there, if you're wondering why they're sitting over there to the side. That is the plan. See if we can maybe pull a Blue Ice White Dragon out of our last booster pack or something. What the heck? All right, so that is a first up for me <laughs> the same card okay yeah <laughs> the same card back to back that is a uh, that is definitely a first up so we got a, a cool ultra rare right there that's nice the trickstar bella very cool that is beautiful my gosh right on our pile of foils is growing over here go through these a little bit quick that's cool that's really cool. I like that. Oh, that's really cool too. <laughs> two two cards of the I really enjoyed the art of right there. All right, so on to our next booster pack. Let's see what is this. 
Oh yeah, this came from something that I bought and it was in there and I had no idea what it was. So I figured why not toss it in here just to open it up. I, I think it's like a bunch of stick. Oh, that's cool. So we got the Joey, Yugi, and Kaiba in here. So these are all, oh, okay. So that's what they look like on that side. So let's go, so the only matters is the other side. Oh, right on. So these are like, so we got a blue eyes Toon Dragon right here. It's like, I think these are like stickers or something. Maybe something you just collect. That's cool. And then we have, oh, that's really awesome. You got a Kaiba right here with his uh, blue eyes white dragon. And we have Pegasus. And his, uh, was that Mega Aruran, I believe? And then we have Yugi with Dark Magician, maybe? No, what is that guy's name? Oh my gosh. Comment down below if you remember. I, I am drawing an absolute blank right here. Oh, we have Weevil. That's really awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I hardly ever see anything with Weevil in it. And then we have the Millennium Eye, which is Pegasus's. This is all like 3D'd out. Really cool. That was actually really awesome. I am uh, I'm quite pleased with that. All right, so now onto a uh, real booster pack right here. So we have a Hidden Arsenal 2. Actually, I believe I just ordered some booster packs of this, actually. So I would be opening this up. And <laughs> it's funny, because uh, Miss Valley uh, Apex Avia is probably one of the most chased cards of the set. This thing has been played in uh, the Ninja decks and all kinds of different. There was a Pendulum deck, so it's like you just Pendulum summon it for free, and they can bounce it back to the gate. It's a really incredible card. Uh, when an effect is activated, you can select one Miss Valley card you control. Return the Miss Valley card to the owner's hand to get the activation if you do uh, destroy its effect. So you can just add it back to you can bounce itself back to your hand so uh, to negate. So that's a really, really cool card. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sleeve that up actually. That's that's really awesome. It's a, kind of like a darker color too. So I don't know if that was like a Euro pack or what, but that is beautiful. And this is one of those cards that was ran all kinds of different decks, like I was saying. I ran uh, I ran it in my old school ninja deck. It was really awesome. I uh, <laughs> Any excuse I could do to play uh, ninjas in my deck, I did it. All right, so now we have a <laughs> monster league. These packs right here, these were mostly just meant for like drafting and whatnot not too exciting there are some shatter foils which are pretty awesome which uh you know featuring over there on the side as our mascot jerry beans man blue thunder t45 as our shatter foils you can see they're actually pretty so not too bad it's the the cards themselves inside the set don't have an incredible amount of value so it's not really worth like purchasing if you're looking for that and we have an invasion of chaos we have one over there already should we add that i'll add it to the pile the grand finale just grows a little bit bigger. A Soul Fusion. Let's see what we get in here. And was it first? It is. Nice. Soul Fusion first edition booster pack. Let's see if we can get anything incredible out of here. So we got a Super Rare, which is nice. Always guaranteed a full out of here. Oh, that is really awesome. The Fluffles are all really, really cute cards. I enjoy that quite a bit. Yeah, so if I, hopefully if uh, you're starting to watch this video, you have yourself a snack. I don't know if you're watching this on your lunch break or you're watching this on dinner or something like that, but you probably have, have a snack while watching. This is going to be a long, epic video. <laughs> There's a ton of booster packs in here. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Oh, that's a really cool looking card. Uh, so uh, I guess we'll just put it, up, put it up there anyway. Put all of our foils together. And what do we have here? Circuit Break. So and it's first edition as well. Nice. Let's see what we uh, what we get out of here. <laughs> Ridiculous looking bunny card. All right. And there's our super rare. Oh, that is a gorgeous looking card. Oh my gosh. Wow. The colors on that thing. Kind of remind me of, uh, what was that, Pokemon? Uh, Ho-Oh, really beautiful looking. I remember pulling one of those from a, a Kmart booster pack that I bought when I was a kid. And oh my gosh, Ho-Oh is a gorgeous looking card. Oh my goodness. At least it was back then. I don't know what they, how it looks now. <laughs> a little out of the loop. So what is this? How does this work? So you end up getting the two ultra rares. We seem, every single time we open up, they seem like we always get a purple poison magician. I don't know how like common that card is. It must be like pretty common. It seems like every single time we open up one of those booster packs, we get one of those. Maybe it's just a fluke. I don't know. And then we have uh, fusion enforcers. Let's see what, uh, what we get out of here. The, so we got the Fluffle Tiger right here. It's actually really cool. Another one of those really fun decks. And we have the Penguin for the deck as well. 
Toy Vendor, which is a nice spell card for it. Miracle Fertilizer. I haven't seen that card played in uh, a really long time. What was that? Sylvans. Sylvans? Sylvans? And Eternity Code right here. It's also a first edition pack. Nice. Let's see if we can get a yeah, secret rare. We got an ultra out of one of these random packs. That was nice. And we are obviously guaranteed a full. Nice, we got a nether ultra rare. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful looking. Check that out, everyone. Wow, that is gorgeous. Man, that really is a beautiful looking card. My gosh. You know, put that, that up here, I think. I think I should go and separate our two our two piles here because I have some cards that are sleeve, which I, I don't know if they're like have any like super significant value or anything, but <laughs> for whatever reason I felt like they were worth a, a sleeving. And uh, these other ones right here, some of the other ones that you're guaranteed multiple foils or guaranteed a, a super or something like that, and I'm putting them in their own pile. That's my rhyme and my reason. Rise of the Duelist. So first edition, so you obviously have that slim chance. Getting one of those starlight rares out of here. We've pulled a couple on the channel. I went on a very, very long run of <laughs> never getting one. And uh, not for a lack of trying, my gosh. And the wallet was burning. Blizzard! That was our foil right there. Cool. This card right here is actually, actually I want to show that again. That's a beautiful looking card. It's cool. Oh, another one. That's really cool too. We can put together a cool little collection binder of those cards, honestly. Imagine playing the deck. That would be really cool, too. I think look at this really big booster pack. Let's pop this thing open. The So we have the... Oh, the, the, the Mega Pack. These things have a lot of cards. 18? Yeah. 18 cards in these booster packs, everybody. In case you haven't seen one of these, it's like two booster packs and one. How cool is that? You get a lot of comments. So um, I've actually gotten a lot of messages from you asking uh, from people that are retired and we're coming back into the card game, what products should you purchase if you want to open up sealed product i personally recommend sets like this because as you can see you're going to get you got a you got a couple of folds here you got the supers you got the secret you got a ultra rare you got another ultra rare here you get the rare and then you got these commons as well so i think if you're going to get back into the game this is these are those kind of sets you want to get at the end of the year because basically they they cover a lot of like the big cards big core set cards and they do a bunch of reprints in it so it's like a one-stop shop just buy some of these tins and then you can get a lot of cards to build up your collection so i personally think that is the way to go so, Legendary Collection, things like that, really cool. Mega Tins, really cool. So, when those big sets like that, I think they are the way to go, honestly. For building up your collection, you're coming back out of retirement, and you want to put some cards in your binder, I mean, you really just can't go wrong there. Especially since, like I said, they're covering all, like, the big cards anyway. So, it's like, why go and purchase a bunch of booster packs from those sets to try to pull some cards that they're going to be doing a reprint all in one? And then you get all those, like, 18 cards per pack. I mean, it's kind of exciting. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Obviously, that, that is just a opinion. Doesn't mean it is correct. But, I don't know. Full out of here, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh, nice. We got Yada right there. I was really excited to be able to play Yada in my deck again when I was playing Magic Specters back in the day when they first came out. And we have the Legendary Duelist here. And these are not guaranteed a hollow. So let's see. No foil. We got a rare. No foil out of that booster pack. That's okay. As you can see right here, we have a big old wall of booster packs back in there still. So we have the Duelist Alliance. So we got the Odd Eyes, what is it? What is his name? Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. He comes in here and you can get him as a ultra rare and a ultimate rare. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, sir. Nice. Yeah, any of these kind of rares like this, uh, I don't know what the what the price of that card is right now, but with the Burning Abyss cards from the last Forbidden list, basically getting back to full power, I'm sure that that rare right there has a little bit of value right now. Probably around like three bucks or something like that. Just guessing off the top of my head. And we have a Speed Duel pack. Nice little Joey one. Let's see. Let's see what good old Joey has in his booster pack. Oh, that's cool. 
No full out of there. You only get you only get a couple of you only get four cards out of those booster packs, which is a little bit of a bummer. I played when Speed Duels first came out. I was playing the Speed Duels, and you just do the structure decks. They had structure deck tournaments when you go over to like YCSs and whatnot, and that was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I highly, highly recommend that. When they open up events again, you should if they if they're still providing those, you should definitely, definitely go and do it. It is so much fun. And, and, <laughs> and you can win some cool stuff too. Like I, uh, I won this cool little coin, and you win like cool little like lanyards and pins and things like that. So we have the OTS tournament pack 14 here. Let's see. We get ourselves something amazing. Oh, nice. They got, they got, the, they got the dragoons and the demise, demise land. And oh, nice. This is actually a really nice super right here. I don't, I don't. Last time these were like. $10, they went down to like $6. I'll put that up there with our more expensive stuff. It's probably around that, probably around like the $5, $6 range still. Still pretty significant <laughs> for a super, that's awesome. And then we have the secret forces here. Let's see what's in this booster pack. Ooh, you sent you karma. This is funny because this is like one of those like anti meta control type decks. Like it runs a lot of trap cards and I never played the deck. I played against it a lot. I uh, actually played when I played my hero deck and I got second place at a tournament with it. I uh, I played against a bunch of uh, bunch of Yusinju decks. I ended up losing to a Quillfort deck and that was back in the day when uh, Skill Gen was at like three and all that stuff. So I ended up losing that game. Skill Gen is very strong. So we have a OTS tournament pack 13 booster pack here. And we're out thou. Is our super rare from that booster pack. And now, let's see here, the Code of the Duelist. That's a really cool looking booster pack, actually. It's beautiful. Let's go and see if we can get some incredible pulls. Or incredible pull, I guess, is what you want to go for. That's actually really pretty. Man, you know what? That would be a really cool deck to go and try to bring back to life again. I haven't seen like anybody playing Light Sworns. And you know some of the most beautiful cards in the game are Light Sworns. And they come ultimate rare, almost everything. That deck can, can almost be all foil, which is awesome if you love hollows. And I really love the way the Light Sworn cards look. And we have le Legendary Duels here featuring my... I think it's just probably the most beautiful... One of the most beautiful looking booster packs in the most uh, current sets. Obviously featuring a lot of my type cards. She plays in, or she played and plays in her deck, which is cool. The Luna Light here, that was a really popular deck. And moving over to our Shining Victories. Let's see what we get here. And yeah, so stay, ooh, nice. Sage with Eyes of Blue Ultra Rare. That is a beautiful looking card. Definitely gonna go and get that thing sleeved up for sure. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Put that up there. Add that to our collection. So yeah, look, uh, look for your username down below to see if you're the winner from our last video. And then obviously I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in this video for those uh, those three epic cards. I mean, basically, if you've ever played this game or collected this game, you are a fan of one of these three cards. <laughs> I think they're pretty awesome. And yeah, I'll announce the winner in the comments of the next video. I'm gonna be doing a post in a video like I was mentioning early on. And I'm gonna try to do a video every day leading up to Christmas and then see how it goes and see if I can keep that, keep that going. That'd be really, really awesome. I, Really enjoy opening, doing these pack openings and uh, reading your guys' comments and whatnot. It has always been a uh, big highlight of my day. I love it. So much fun. That's why I cannot wait. Oh, nice. Another Ultra Rare. Very cool. That's why I cannot wait for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! events to open back up again so I can go and hang out with all of you. That was always the best. Meeting so many of you in person is one of my uh, one of my favorite parts of going to those events. So Duelist Pack Yugi, remember us doing an opening and we got a bunch, I think this came from like one of the Walmart boxes or something like that. And we pulled a bunch of those Dark Palace, which is really cool. Big Shield God now, which is a big old Yugi card. And we have the Green Gadget there and then the Magical Hats. Those are rare. And then we, and we have a Duelist Pack, oh, this is a big pack. 18 cards in here. The season one has a uh, Joey and Pegasus. It's kind of weird they put both of them, uh, both of them on the feature. They never really 
have too many. They didn't really have too many interactions in the series. I believe they had a duel against each other once, though, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Can't quite remember. I need to go watch it all again. The Toon Cyber Dragon. That's a really cool looking card. That's a really cool looking card, actually. Return of the Red Eyes. The Toon Buster Blader. Ooh, that alternate art, man. The Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. That is gorgeous looking, oh my gosh. And we have our Crystal Bond here, which is absolutely beautiful. The Relinquished Fusion, which is beautiful. And this guy looks pretty awesome too. Imagine an entire deck based around that. And then we have the Cyber Dark Keel. And some other classic cards in here. So yeah, this set's cool. That's an, uh, another one of those sets that has like some pretty good reprints in it. And a lot of the old school like comments and things, which would be kind of nice for people that are trying to build up their collection as well. So we have the uh, Dark Illusion here. Let's go and see. I think this is a first edition pack as well. Let's go and see what we get out of this booster pack. Ooh, was this? No, it wasn't. I was thinking, was that the Seeker before? Magician's Rod as our super rare first edition. These things are actually pretty cool. Oh, and the Magician's Robe. That's also a nice little common. Yeah, I'll sleeve this guy up. I, I don't, I don't, gosh, I don't know. Probably around like three bucks or something like that for the super. Still really cool. Just kind of like irrelevant. I don't really care about that, but <laughs> I just like the cards. I think it's awesome. And I had a lot of requests for uh, trying to put the price tags up and things like that. So we've been trying to do that in, uh, in our videos and moving forward and all that good stuff. The Dragons of Legend Unleashed. That is beautiful looking pack. I love the gold. And I don't think we've opened up a single duplicate pack, have we? Everything has been... <laughs> Everything has been different. I know there's a couple of Invasion of Chaos booster packs. I'll put those over to the side. Number 59. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. The Galaxy Eyes Dragon here. This guy is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get some good reflection on that. That guy is absolutely stunning looking. My gosh, look at all the colors in this. This is wings or something? I think it's his wings. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow. All right, well, that was a really beautiful looking card. And then we have a Duelist Pack Yusei 2. So we only have, uh, what, five cards in these booster packs. Still really cool. We haven't opened up any of these in a really, really long time either. So let's go see if we can get ourselves a foil out of here. Obviously the odds are a little bit stacked. Oh, and we do. Oh my gosh, a Ultra Rare Junk Archer. Wow, that is actually a really, really hard pull to get I me. Mean, getting any kind of full out of here is difficult, especially a ultra rare. Oh my gosh. Right on. Ultra rare junk archer. Wow. I wonder if something like this is worth getting uh worth getting graded. I don't know. I if it's old enough or not. And I don't I don't think the borders are perfect on this thing. It's a little bit uh you can see it's a little bit cut off. I was just wondering just in general. Card is really, really cool. Wow, that is awesome. That's a really, <laughs> that's a really, really lucky pull from just a straight booster pack. That is awesome. Cool. Zero Gardena, man. I haven't run that since our final countdown deck. Oh my gosh, that's been many years. That was a I I won my locals playing that, and it was a big locals, and we played a lot of rounds. I never played Final Countdown again. It takes 20 turns for you to win your game. You have to stall, and yeah, I don't know. It, <laughs> every single game takes forever, obviously. So, yeah, I uh, I didn't play that one again after after that one. A Herald of the Pure Light is our super rare. Very cool. That is beautiful. Right on. Actually, a really good card, too. On to our next mystery booster pack since all these packs have fallen face down. Let's see what we got here. A duelist pack, you say three. Nice. Let's see if we can get lucky and get another foil out of here. I was being a negative Nancy on the last one saying it's really difficult to get a foil and boom, get a, get a foil. AD changer. My gosh, I ran this in my empty jar deck. You can banish it and change control of a monster on the field. So flip my face down, morphing jar face up and then just keep on comboing off. Really, really cool. Blind spot. That's a oh my gosh. That's quite the dude right there picking up an entire castle. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see what our uh, what our next mystery booster pack is. Number hunters. Cool. 
Whenever I think about number hunters, I always think about Cyber Knight. My dear old friend, he collects all the number cards. I think it's really cool. <laughs> so whenever I see number cards, I always think about him. It's a good dude. I need to give that guy a call and see if uh, maybe we can do a video again together. That'd be awesome. We normally do our yearly gift exchange. I know he's been really, really busy and with COVID and everything that's been going around. It's been, uh, things have been different this year. So hopefully all of you out there are staying safe and healthy. And we have a super rare scapegoat. Very cool car. Ran that in so many different decks back in the day. Combo very well with Metamorphosis putting Thousand Eyes Restrict on the field. And we have a Galactic Overlord. This is a unlimited booster pack. A older, older booster pack. It's crazy to think about it because I always, I always think about this set when it first came out and buying a couple booster boxes and then the tins that had them in it and everything else. And then the thing that these are considered a uh, more of a classic booster pack now. It makes you feel like you've been, wow, you've been in this card game for a really long time, Jobber. Alrighty, so let's see what we have here in our, now we're digging in here. A Chaos Impact. Did we open up one of these? I don't remember. We may have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I'm on the fence right there. Probably not. I think we've opened up all different booster packs. This looks like a... Uh, yeah, we got our foil right there. These are... Uh, this was like a Euro print. Meaning the cards are just a darker shade. They have a different texture to them. Really cool looking. You can tell by the, the coloring there. Much of like a, a darker red or grape color. Whatever you want to call this. I don't know what color that is. It's not, not really like red. <laughs> so, I don't know. Beautiful looking though. And then we have the Dragons of Legend, the complete series, 18 cards per pack. We opened up some of these not that long ago, actually. Got some pretty good luck pulling some of those uh, Dark Magician girls in here, which are actually pretty dang cool. Looks beautiful on that gorgeous dragon. Ice Hand, very cool card. And then we have our Galaxy Stealth Dragon as our Ultra Rare. That is beautiful looking. And the Amulet Dragon right there with the purple name. We got the Dark Magician in the background, which is beautiful as well. And these guys are all really cool. And the rest are going to be our commons. Wiretap, nice. And nice little counter trap. Shuffles the trap card back into your opponent's deck. It counters trap cards. Pretty cool. Ran that in quite a few uh, decks. I was running it back in the day in the, with Ice and Fire Hand and stuff like that to be able to stop their counter traps. I think it was mostly just like warning, stopping the effect of... Uh, Ice Hand in the Grave and things like that, so. Pretty cool. And then them taking 2,000 off that warning is very nice. And our Super Rare right here, and then we have our Secret Rare. That's a beautiful looking card. All the Cyber Dragon cards are really awesome. And we have our Danger Thunderbird. Very cool. The Dangers, I thought when those things were first going to come out, I thought that was going to be something that was just like more or less just like something fun. I didn't think it was going to be... Such a uh, big, powerful deck, and the cards are just absolutely incredible. So that was actually really cool to see so many of them. I, my favorite is Danger Bigfoot. I don't know what yours is. Mine is Danger Bigfoot because I live in uh, Redding, California, super far north. So whenever I go visit my friend Dylan, I have to drive through the woods, and they they, uh, they have so many different signs for Bigfoot and everything all stationed all over the place. So that was pretty cool. And the Raging Tempest. It is an unlimited booster pack, if that matters. Cards are the same, just don't have a first edition stamp on it. My gosh, that is awesome looking dragon. Reminds me of an old video game that me and my dear old friend Paul played, Boulder's Gate. There's this really awesome ice dragon. I, we played that game, my gosh, when I was just a little kid. And uh, yeah, there's a really awesome ice dragon boss that you have to try to beat. And it uh, reminded me of that. The Dual Overload. Oh, Overlord? Overload. I said it right. I always question myself. My reading abilities are not very strong. All right, we got a beautiful Ultra there. That is really cool looking, <laughs> actually. I haven't opened up very many of these booster packs, so these cards are pretty new to me. And that, the Ojama. It's, uh, my friend built a really cool Ojama deck way back in the day. It's actually, actually play tested pretty well while we were playing against each other. The Hidden Summoners is a first edition pack. Let's see what we get here. 
the Phoenix Wing Wing Blast, Thunder Dragon, super rare, Refusion. Oh, nice. And we got the Prank Kids Do Do Doodle Do. That's actually a, <laughs> the colors of the card look really cool and it's also absolutely ridiculous. I love the Prank Kids. I It won a uh, YCS over there, I believe it was like in Europe. Everybody thought that deck was just for fun. It was a joke. It wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a joke as it was uh, mowing through people in Top Cut. We got a Amplifier there, Mind Control. Card's been around for a really long time. Metal Reflex Slime. Very cool card. And then we have a... Oh, that's really cool looking. I like this card because it has Jinzo not once but twice. The split screen right there. They don't do that very often, that little split cut like that in, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Only they do the full art featuring the whole thing. Like, you know, you got like blue eyes down there. And we have the Secret Slayers first edition pack here. Let's see what we get. Look at this pack. Block Dragon. L Blood. And we got the, oh yeah, these these cards are, uh, all the zombie cards and stuff were getting really, really popular right there, especially these. My gosh. There's our soup, there's our super rare, our secret rare right there. I'll add that to our little pile of foils right there. And let's see what we got. Ooh, nice. You got a, so we're gonna have two Legend of Blue Eyes booster packs to open up here at the very end. And then our box is getting down to the nitty gritty. What do we have here? Uh, Fists of the Gadgets. Let's see what we can get out of here. I hardly open up any of these booster packs as well, so this is kind of like a cool little little treat. Oh, that's awesome. Like a Summoned Skull, but he's like... Summoned Skull plus one Dark Monster. That is really cool. It's like an alternate art of Summon Skull. <laughs> I really like that. All right, so for our last booster pack out of the box, and then we have the basically like the grand finale of today's video. It's going to be opening up those vintage booster packs. Well, they're not like super vintage. They're like reprinted versions of the old school booster pack. But it's still really cool because you still get to pull those beautiful classic cards in here. Anyway. So we're gonna put the two, the two Legend of Blue Eyes packs. I guess we'll put the two in Invasion of Chaos booster packs there as well. We'll start right here with our our Spell Ruler booster pack right here. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this video so far. Give this video a like and then comment down below what your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card is. You can wait to see if we pull something out of here because I mean the Spell Ruler here they have some really cool tune cards in here. Got the Red Archery Girl. So yeah, like Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. And then you got the like Tune Summon Skull, things like that, which are really, really cool cards in here. There's a lot of other really incredible cards and spell as well. Nice. You got the Black Pendant as our super rare. That is beautiful looking. Really is a gorgeous looking card. Like the art's simple, but it looks like a necklace like falling down from the sea. I really like that. And we have a rare. Nimble McManga ran that in one of my old Monarch decks. You can attack it and I get a thousand life points to get two more Nimble McMangas and I could tribute one off for one of my Monarchs and really cool back in the day. Had some pretty good energy and also getting life points is uh, always good. <laughs> and we have Feral Servant, Thousand Nice Restrict and Jinzo in here, which is really cool. Imperial Order as well as a uh, so Gentle and Peril Order, the two secret rares of the set. Obviously, there's some other really incredible cards in here as well. So just no, notably, notably the, those ones are right there, the more expensive ones. So the Sword Hunter, when I opened up an entire booster box of this, this card, I only pulled one copy of. We got Magic Drain there. And this is definitely a short print. So I'm actually going to sleeve this up because I think these things are... It's probably like six dollars. <laughs> That's a common. So we'll put the I put the price tag up there. We'll put that right over here. That is really cool. And then we have our magic drain. Red is one of my and actually a lot of my old school anti meta decks because uh that's really cool. Uh, magic Chain because it would lower the advantage of your opponent. So basically if they tried to like I don't know. For instance, I attacked with was it my Thunder King? I think it was my Thunder King. I tried to attack over his monster, and then he did a Forbidden Lance, and it tried to decrease my attack, and then I was able to go and activate Magic Drain. He didn't have a spell card, so he would attack over it. And if he did have a spell card, my monster would die, but he would have one less card. That's kind of like what you want to do with Antimeta, just like lower down the card advantage and whatnot. So uh, you guys are both kind of like in a top deck position. So we have Dark Crisis, and this has Exodia Necros in it. I, I think we've pulled one ever. 
And I'd love to be able to do a... I'd love to be able to pull another one, because that card is really cool. And it's literally like Exodia, all in one card. And... No foil out of here. That's okay. We got a nice little rare. Ooh, the deal with the Dark Ruler. Final countdown. There it is. I think this card's still limited to one. Card was at three. Pay 2,000 life points. And in 20 turns, count on your opponents to go like one, two, three, four, five. So in 20 turns, you win. So <laughs> took a long time. I won that locals, but my gosh, did I earn it. <laughs> that, was, that was a long, long games. The Blue Winged Crown. Little creepy guy there. The Pit Moth. Ooh, the Great Moth. That's actually really cool, seeing this in a Weevil's old school deck. And there is our fusion right there. Really cool. Okay, so now we move over to our, our I think it's only doubles of the entire open right here. So we have Invasion of Chaos. We have two booster packs of that, and then two Legend of Blue Eyes booster packs. Let's go see if any of these have a full one. So Invasion of Chaos, you have the Decoration of Chaos, uh, Black Lesser Soldier, and Chaos Emperor Dragon. I'd say like the big ones, and they got like that, was it Dimension Fusion? It's an ultra spell card, really incredible card. Both you and your opponent... So I'll summon as many removed from play monsters as possible. Cost you 2,000 life points. So it doesn't really matter if, your opponent, if you're just going off, your opponent doesn't have one. So we, but we pulled the Mad Dog of Darkness. Finier was actually a card that was played a few years back. Chaos Greed. Okay, so now on to our second Invasion of Chaos booster pack. Let's see if we can get a foil out of one of these two packs. That would be awesome. Nice, a Chaos Sorcerer. Very first regional I ever played in, I won featuring this card. Very cool. It was obviously way back in the day, basically like goat format. <laughs> Smashing Ground. Suki Samurai number three. This is what happened to us last time we pulled one of those. Well, no full out of there, so it's leading up to the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's see if we can pull ourselves a Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or the unstoppable Exodia. We have two packs to try it with. First Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever be released over here. Jerry Beans, man, give me some luck. Let's see if we can pull one of those epic cards. The Two Mothed Dark Ruler. Two, two Mothed Dark Ruler, that's weird. <laughs> Oh, so we end up getting a fusion. Actually, not too bad. These uh, fusions were being used for instant fusion targets, so not too shabby. Actually, one of these is a misprint. It's like, like split down the middle. It's weird. Oh, that one's kind of cool. And then we have the sandstone right here. So, all right, all right, everybody, we are down to our last booster pack in this giant booster pack opening extravaganza. Give this video a like for the support. Here we go. Let's see. We need some luck. Jerry Beans, man. Come on, let's make this happen. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Last booster pack. Pit Dragon. Skull Servant. It's actually kind of cool. Hey, I pulled this in our last one. And... Oh my gosh, no full. We end up getting a Nether Fusion from our booster pack. Metal Dragon. I'm sorry, everybody. Unfortunately, no blue eyes white dragon out of these LOB booster packs, but I have some more LOB booster packs. I'm going to be opening some up. Don't you worry. Leading up to these Christmas, this Christmas opening extravaganza. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this epic opening. Oh my gosh. Again, we're doing this giveaway, giving away this blue eyes white dragon, dark magician, red eyes black dragon. All you have to do is be a subscriber, give this video a like, comment down below your favorite Yu Gi Oh card you saw in today's video. If you have an Instagram, Follow me, say hi to me. I absolutely love it. And I will always say hi back. Thanks again for tuning in. And Jobber here is signing out.